Can you spot the fake? That's right, one of these is not real. Three of these came into the shop yesterday. And if you guess this side, you're accurate. Three fake one ounce gold eagles came into the shop. They were detected right off the bat as being fake. Mostly because the gold color is off. They're just not the right tone. Can you see it now? The one on the bottom is a genuine coin. Next one just has a more yellow appearance. It's too gold. Gold eagles are alloyed with a bit of copper and silver, therefore giving it this almost reddish gold look to it. These fakes look like they're too much gold. There's an other appearance issues with the coin that set it off as being a fake. It's just the flat fields to it. There's no concavity as you get with a genuine. And we'll see how the light will cartwheel around the coin. It's because the fields are not perfectly flat. Do not get that same cartwheel with a flat coin. The date is set too high off the coin. The face is atrocious. It almost looks skeletal. Very flat nose, flat forehead. Genuine coins have a very nice face. See the detail just with your plain eye. I'm showing the reeded edge. It's just way too sharp on the fake coin. It's almost like a proof coin. Uh, where you see the, the genuine eagles almost have a rounded reeded edge to it. The reading is a little is spaced a little too far as well on the uh, fake coin. I'm sure if I took the time to count the reads, the reads would not be the same either, as far as number. Um, also, the stars are relatively flat. You can see, you know, the uh, the stars here have no real depth to them. These stars all have nice depth to them. You can see the, the, the details within the stars. It's just something counterfeiters are, are not going to be able to replicate easily. Um, now you might be suspecting, okay, well what about the weight? Uh, the weight is actually accurate and uh, there, there's no real difference. If somebody just was using a scale on something like this, it, it, it really wouldn't do too much. And the uh, if you did the a test of uh, diameter it would be also relatively the same I, I could see just a slight difference with my eye but it really wouldn't be uh, so noticeable that somebody might think that it could be a fake just based on the sizing alone uh, but one important aspect is the sound of it so uh, here's what the uh, fakes sound like now, together there's no thudding between them. I just drop one. Very distinctive thud. Now let's drop a real one. Nice ring to it. You got to be able to hear that. So all of these aspects of the coin itself, the appearance of it, and the, the sound of it, set off the alarm bells here. We knew that it was uh, going to be fake. Uh, just to make sure, uh, we tested it with x-ray spectrometry. And uh, to let you know what that is, 
It's a thermo scientific Niton gun, and this is a test. You can see the uh, the tolerance is 0.3 on that, so really you can you can round up the carat. Um, it's supposed to be 22, and you can see a little bit of copper, a little bit of silver there. Uh, so let's go ahead and test the uh, the fake one and see what it comes up to be. Oh, what, what, really? No, that's not right. Oh. Yeah, so uh, just a quick test, you could see exactly that the, uh, the, the, the coin is not testing what it should be. And you, you saw the results of the, the test being of 99.8% gold. Well, there's a misnomer in uh, the industry of people less experienced with that equipment thinking, oh, well, it's x-ray, it should be able to tell me exactly what it is. Well, those x-ray guns are only as good as the surface of the material in which you're testing. Uh, it's limited to the depth of the test by the density of the material. Gold being very dense, it doesn't really test all that deep. So in order to get an accurate test, you need to homogenize the material, which means you melt it down, get it into a blob where everything is the same, uh, whether you're testing the surface or the center. At that point in time, then you know that the test is accurate. And to determine exactly what these fake gold coins are made of, I would have to melt it down and then test that blob. Uh, until I do something like that, I can't tell you exactly what it is. Uh, these pieces are uh, being held right now, and uh, we'll well, we'll figure out how to handle something like this here shortly. Um, but for now, I just wanted to make this video to document uh, the fake coins. We'll do a nice side-by-side -side comparison. You could pause the video right here for yourself just to be able to look at it own try to shine some different light to it As counterfeits go, these are one of the best that I've ever seen. Uh, I think they'd probably fool 95% of the people who are not experienced and you know have practice in handling these items. Um, yeah, it's it. They really are that good, especially if somebody's just looking at weight and uh, doing a diameter test. Uh, you're going to get fooled. Um, I highly suggest you know e either fully educating yourself, watching videos like this. Uh, handling a lot of pieces or finding a dealer in which you can really trust um, who's going to be able to pre-screen items like this or any numismatic material and ensuring that your money spent is on the items which you expect them to be. Uh, other than that, um, you know, buy paper gold and, uh, and <laughs> I'm not really suggesting something like that, but if you can't educate yourself on physical gold, I don't think you should really be handling it. So this is Mike with Market Harmony. If you have any questions, you can try to reach me at 412-GOT-GOLD. If you need any testing done on any of your material, you'd like to sell bullion to us, buy bullion from us, sell scrap or rare coins, whatever it is, I'm sure that we could help you out. I'd be happy to. Thanks for watching.